Battle for the lead right here. Here we go. Oh, it's getting tight. It's getting close. Oh, no. Woo, you let him by, bro. <laughs> Check it out guys, we got the 50s out here tearing up the track. We're back at Dave City for Thursday night, guys. This is uh, a Lawrence brother ride night. Jet Lawrence and Hunter Lawrence actually rented out the track and then let everybody come and ride tonight for free. And uh, I'm a fan, I'm a fan of the Lawrence brothers, but I'm a bigger fan of free stuff. So we're out here doing a free ride day at Dade City and the kids are just about warming up. We got people over here saying what's up, what's up guys? <laughs> kids are about to get out there and warm up and uh, tear it up here at Dade City. <laughs> So we got Jason Wygant here, or Weej, as yep. I like to call him. Yep. Uh, Weej, I'm actually a really big fan of your podcast intro song. Yeah, it really is the best. It's the best. Yep. You know the average? I, I tested this. Most podcast intros are six to eight seconds. Mine's like 38. How much better is that? Well, I have it on repeat. I play it for my kids at night before they go to bed, so. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Love the song. So I got a question for you. I'm asking everybody, how does motocross help you in life? Do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, well, uh, now it's coming around full circle because my kid rides. A lot of organization and a lot of planning and a lot of scheduling. It doesn't just happen, right? So. It's a real test, like how bad do you actually want to do this thing? And I think you really see, we have PBs riding on the track behind us, like when you have a five or a six, or in his case now seven years old, and they actually want to make that sacrifice. So he wants me to wake him up at five in the morning to go ride. That has to be teaching wow. lessons, Dang. right? Uh, when the, uh, the track is three hours away and we got to be there by seven or something, right. and we got to get up early. I don't think you're getting that level of discipline in other things, and obviously it goes well sometimes and it goes badly at others, but you always have to not give up, right? right. So there's a real lesson there. I think that the regular sports probably aren't teaching. So yep. discipline, organization, you have to you have to push yourself just to get to the track is a lot of work. You, you do, it. it's a lot of work to get there, so you have to really want it and you have to make sacrifices to do it and uh, sometimes it goes badly and you have to just deal with that and the highs and the lows I think are more so than most sports. So I think you learn something there, but the other cool thing is I feel like the sport is like big, but not so huge. Like we're hanging out at a ride day here and there's Jet Lawrence over there and I'm hearing all these stories of people right. who rode together and they were like five and my dad do your dad and everybody seems to know each other. Everybody's dream it's is a living community. Like a community, right? Yeah. It's, it's big enough where a lot's going on around the country, around the world, right. but it's not so big that everybody doesn't end up bumping into each other and being lifelong friends. Right. Yeah. So another thing is you make friends, part yes. of a community. Oh, 100%. Yeah, last for a lifetime. Yep. Yeah, okay. and I, I think that the fact that the sport isn't loved by everybody probably helps that. If you're a moto guy, right. you're a moto guy, I'm a moto guy, we already got this like thing, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, if you play, you know, if you're if you're at a gas station, you see somebody with, uh, with like, golf clubs or a baseball bat or something pumping gas, you're not going to stop and no. say hi. No. See somebody with a dirt bike, yes. you're going to go up to them, yep. how's it going, where are you going, where are you riding, and I can I think waste this you. Way too, I've always pointed this out. I bet you most people that buy a mountain bike, even like hardcore mountain bike guys, right. I don't know if they watch mountain bike racing or can name professional mountain bike stars. They just ride. They just like to ride. But in this yeah. sport, it's like everybody that rides also knows Jet Lawrence, but everybody that knows Jet Lawrence also rides. It's like this weird kinship that we have that I don't think most sports connect like that. Turn around, let me see the back. Nice. You want me to get that signed for you? I can get an autograph for you if you want. No, you're good? <laughs> awesome. Hey, you know Lucas down there? Lucas? On the phone? Lucas on the phone. Yeah, yeah. I'm signing with Honda. He's signing the Honda? No, me. Oh, you signed it. No, I'm signing with it. Right, you're signing with him. Oh, Lucas is signing you to race with factory Honda. Yes, race. Nice. Congrats, man. All that hard work paid off. Yeah. Good job. Can I be in the video? Be in the video? What's your name? Jackson. Jackson, what's up, man? Hello. How's it going? Good. Battle for the lead right here. Oh, no! Woo! You let him by, bro! <laughs> 
Guys, pro riders these days with their electric start can't even remember how to start at 65. Thank you. Five minutes later. Bye. Go. No, you go together. Go. Why? Go. Get a little closer. A little closer. A little more. Good. Oh. No, I'm just, I'm just relaxing. Yes, guys. Yes, the only got in line twice to get a picture with uh, Jet, but I, I guess she was. She was doing it again with her friend Riley for moral support, but you guys, this is cool. I think this is really cool. I wish like more pros would do this, like pro athletes running out of track just to invite everyone out to ride. Like this has been so fun. It's been cool. Any pro motocrossers watching this, I'm sure there's probably a few. <laughs> Any pros, dude, this is rad. You should do this more often. All right, guys, we got AJ Canzaro here, who you might know from his YouTube channel, AJ Canzaro. He's also got a, an app that is pretty cool. So you can go on this app and you could submit clips of you riding. And I've submitted a lot of kids clips of my kids crashing and he'll critique them and like tell them what, what they've done wrong and stuff. So it's awesome. So uh, AJ, uh, I'm asking people, how does motocross help you in life? Well, yeah, there's a million things I can think of. Overcoming adversity and just like patience. Learning how to 
have things go wrong because let's face it, motocross, things go wrong often. Knowing how to like do a quick reset, move on, and to think about the next thing that's happening. I think a lot of regular people have small things go wrong and it, it, right. it like ruin their day or they'll have bad days or bad weeks. I don't really think a bad day exists. Like I, I have things go wrong and then I'm immediately beyond them. Same thing like when you're on the track, you have something go wrong, right. you immediately are on to the next, right? Because you can't, if something goes wrong, you can't just like stop and start over, you know? It's not like football where you have, you know, a second down, you could try again. And if you're dwelling, you on, your, get up. If you're dwelling on your mistake, you're going to make another mistake and that's how you get hurt. You can apply that same thing to life. You make, yeah. you make a mistake or something goes wrong, guess what? You're on to the next thing and you're you're already thinking about the next thing. It just freaking makes you tough, man. You never know what's gonna get you thrown at you here. You get hurt, you get ran over, you gotta work on stuff. It ain't all glory and Instagram clips. There's a lot of work behind the scenes, so yeah, if you can make it to the track, you know, you gotta have the money, so you gotta do the real life thing. It all goes hand in hand. I guess it's all about balance. Racing motocross helped you in your real life? I guess the main thing is giving me a purpose. Uh, not that I wouldn't have had one otherwise, but it's taught me determination, willpower, perseverance, just being able to, to really put your focus in on something and then work for it and achieve it, which is, uh, is cool. I feel like a lot of problems that people have is because they don't have a focus for life. They don't have like something that they really love, they want to go after. Yeah, and if you can do that on the track, if you do it on your bike, then it applies to uh, every area of life. So, yeah. right on, man. We'll keep at it, and uh, excited to see you back on the track. <laughs>
Jason tonight. He's uh, not riding sloppy or lazy. He's in his attack position, standing up almost in and out of every turn. For me, the thing about motocross is that it teaches you to set goals. It teaches you to have to work towards something. And in order to be successful in this sport, you need to put in a lot of hard work, both on the track and off the track. And when I mean off the track, I'm talking about in the gym, working on your bike, being successful in a business or in life in order for you to make enough money to participate in this sport. And in order to be successful in racing, you have to be able to push yourself past your comfort zone. Not only trying new jumps and uh, doing things that look scary, but when you get to the point where you're tired and you just can't push any harder and you, you don't have any more energy, you have to find more energy. You have to push even harder. You just have to keep going, hold on another lap, another minute, whatever it is. And I, I think that that muscle of being able to push yourself past what is comfortable for your body is going to serve you and help you in life and whatever it is that, that you want to do. And I've been thinking about that lately, guys, because even if my kids never make it anywhere in the sport, I feel like what we're doing today what we're doing as a family is still gonna serve them. It's still gonna help them later on in life. So I, I was thinking about that. I wanted to find a way to talk about it. And then the idea just popped into my head. What if I talked to the Lawrences about it and asked them? Well, that didn't really work out. They had a crowd of people around them all the time and it was it was always loud and I, I didn't want I didn't want to be disrespectful and, and ask them to do like a one-on-one -on -one clip like this. But there were some other pros and, and I appreciate them. I appreciate those guys for taking the time to, uh, to talk to me, to be in the video video and for me to put them on the spot like that and them to uh, come up with some some uh, responses so hopefully you guys got something out of it that was a fun night guys that was one of the funnest nights I think I've had in a while you know what was weird I asked Hunter if they're if they're like moving back to Australia after the, they're done racing and he didn't even hesitate he didn't even think about it he's like nope like this is where this is where they're set up this is where they're staying like Chad Reed, Grant Langston, David Villeman, like it's they they come here and then they race and then they never leave. Is that weird? Yeah. Uh, so Lillian, yeah. you did something tonight I didn't think you'd ever do. You got a photo with Cooper Webb. <laughs> you don't even like him. You're not even like a Cooper oh, Webb fan. No, Riley, someone said Cooper Webb's here. I'm like, what? Where? Right, like right down, like where? He's like right there, and he's like right in front of us, and then just standing there, and all these kids are trying to get a picture with him. <laughs> And then I got a picture with him, and he's trying to like leave. So you're not even a fan, but you're gonna make him make you take a yeah, photo yeah, just yeah. because he's Cooper Webb. Yeah, well, when am I gonna see him again? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, good job, guys. I thought you rode good, Luke. Inside corners were really good. Uh, Lillian, you were just all all good and stuff. Mason, good huh? job in your attack position. I have a question for you, bud. Huh? How does racing motocross help you in your life? <laughs> 